Here's a question someone sent to me and I thought it might make a good video and the individual had some type of a property inspection and the inspector suggested that they should attach some type of hangers to the stringers and the only problem is is it's difficult to attach a hanger to a beam that is um, setting in a wall with bricks, stucco, or siding over it, and you got the stringer right next to it, how are you going to get the hanger in? Same thing on the other side when you have some type of a hand railing board or a stringer right next to it. And uh, what I would, and, and this is the situation that they had. They had some type of a notch like this over the over the beam and this isn't the ideal um, stair connection obviously and that's probably why the inspector suggested that they install something but again it's difficult to you know I, I've had this happen to me before an inspector comes to the property and they say you know what you need to fix that well how do I fix it well hire somebody who knows well this doesn't mean it's going to get fixed I could hire a professional an engineer even they could come in and and design something to fix it and then the inspector comes back and says nah that's not what I wanted so that it's a this is a tough situation so I wanted to show you that the stringers were originally I'm guessing attached with some type of 16d nails that were toenailed or nailed in at an angle and uh, this is usually sufficient I actually installed stairway stair stringers like this before without um, any problems and I'm sure that the stairway um, that the individual is talking about is you know at least five years old it's been tested without any problems but reason why the inspector is suggesting this is that if the str stringer was to crack somehow it could create a problem with this type of a connection. If a hanger was underneath it, it might not be a problem. This is probably what the inspector is going to want is some type of a hanger. And I think this is a two by six hanger here. You might need a two by four hanger uh, for something like this, but you are going to have to notch the bottom of the stringer to where it is flat and will fit into the hanger. Um, nicely and one more thing that you might need to do if the hanger is going to stick up a little too high would be to put some type of a block underneath the hanger and this I don't know if this would be an approved method by an inspector or an engineer but it seems like it would work and uh, you shouldn't have any problems with it at least you know you would take the block and then maybe put a couple of screws or some nails nail it into the beam and uh, maybe into the hanger also but something like this would be just an alternative for uh, if a problem you'd run into if the hanger was going to be sticking up too high above the sheathing and you may, might be only get one nail into it um, so that might be an alternative just kind of throwing something else out there and some type of framing anchors to attach to the side for this. I don't know if that would uh, satisfy the inspector, but again, just throwing it out there. And of course, you could always have these down a little lower and take the part here and bend it around the bottom of the stringer and nail it into it also if the uh, framing anchor would be sticking up a little too high. And don't uh, forget, check out the hardware from some of these uh, hardware companies and see they might have something that's going to work better for a situation like this. Here's something else that might work. Grab a board the width of the beam and rip it. The angle of course would be the same as the bottom of the stringer and then attach it to the bottom or the bottom section of the beam and of course here you can see where the angle is. But this, of course, could create a water trap. You know, it creates a nice fit for something like this. And seems like it would really provide some additional support. But I'd be worried about the water trap. Even if you put your block in here, you could still have water that would be seeping around here. And if that water was to remain in this area long enough, it could create problems for the beam and stairway. So 
if this I, I would suggest to only use something like this if the stairway was underneath a covered roof and wasn't going to get wet with uh, a lot of rain or snow and something like this this could be a problem in an area where it snows you know people walk up and down with their wet shoes um, water gets in here and creates a problem so this one right here is a little iffy. The other one, I would imagine the inspector is going to like to see a little more. But like always, I got to throw a couple more ideas in there. And this is just another one of them.